Hey guys, this is Nick Brown at JTEC today, and today we're going to be running the overhead on a Caterpillar C7 Acert diesel engine. Alright, I've got the a valve cover pole as well as I've got the injector harness pole. That's the first thing you want to do in this procedure. Uh, come over here to the table. On my book here, I have uh, the procedures written down, okay? Next thing we want to do is we want to pin the engine. Pinning the engine, basically I want to have my, I want to have my pry bar, okay? All right, I want to make sure the engine's at top dead center. Come back forward. So the engine, you want to take like a six millimeter bolt, and you want to hold it here and have somebody turn the engine at the same time. And you want to have keep pressure on this bolt until it pops in and pops into one of the flywheel holes right here. In this case, it is on number one uh, cylinder, top dead center. All right, come on over here. All right. Come over here, all right. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to take your 16 millimeter side of your offset uh, wrench and you want to go over and you want to loosen all the jam nuts on the valve. You don't want to loosen them too much because then when you go to tighten them, you'll end up tightening them too much. That's just how I do it. Alright. You want to come over here? Alright, I want to get my feeler gauge out and I want to set my 15 thousandths. 15 thousandths is going to be for the intake valve. And I want to get my 25 thousandths feeler gauge and that's going to be for the exhaust valve. I also want to have my 5 millimeter wrench with me. Alright, these are the three tools that you're going to be using during the process. Alright, now look here. Um, for, for, on my fourth step, all right, you're gonna want to remember this rhyme: intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, three times. All right. At first, you're gonna want to start on number one cylinder. When it's on number one cylinders, on top dead center, it's compression stroke. All right. You're gonna want to set the intake exhaust valve at the same time on number one cylinder. Then you're gonna, when you get done setting that, you're gonna want to go to two, set intake on that one. Then three, set exhaust then four set intake and then five set exhaust okay and I'm going to be showing you guys that okay I take my allen wrench my wrench and my fuel gauge all right first I'm going to be setting my exhaust valve so I want to get my fuel gauge and I want to set it to or actually this is the exhaust valve sorry about that um, I want to get my fuel gauge out and set it to 25 thousandths My wrench on there first, the right side. All right. Now I'm gonna tighten my Allen wrench until I feel it stop. Right there. Okay. Then I know I'm right at 25,000, basically. All right. Now I have to take my feeler gauge back and forth, rub it back and forth, just to make sure it's uh, tight. Okay. All right. And I want to go ahead and I want to tighten the jam nut. Alright, feel the feeler gauge, alright. Now I'm gonna go to my intake valve. Set to 15 thousandths. Okay, pull the exhaust or pull the rocker arm up. Alright, now I wanna turn my Allen wrench until it stops. Alright, I felt it stop. Alright, I wanna go back and forth with my feeler gauge, feel that. Alright, and I wanna go ahead and I wanna tighten my jam nut. All right, feel the fueler gauge. Come back. Oh fuck! All right, that was too tight, so I want to loosen my jam nut. All right, tighten that back. There we go. All right, now I've set the exhaust valve and I've also I've set the intake valve on number one cylinder. Now we're gonna go to number two. Now remember the rhyme. Intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, times three. 
All right, so on number two, we're going to be setting the intake valve. All right. All right, 15 thousandths. Loosen that. Tighten that to it just barely stops the Allen wrench, that is. Okay, feel that a couple times with the fuel gauge. All right, now I want to tighten the jam nut. All right, go back and forth a couple times. All right, that might be too loose, so I'm going to back that off. All right, feel it again, and then tighten the jam nut back up. All right, there we go. Now we set the intake valve. Now I go down to number three. We're going to be setting its exhaust valve. Same procedure on exhaust. It's twenty-five thousandths. All right, there we go, guys. And as I tighten it, I want to feel. I want to feel where. Um, I want to feel the feeler gauge as I tighten the jam nut. Okay, to make sure my measurements are not off. Alright, now I want to go down to four, and I'm going to be setting the intake valve on that one. Alright. There we go. Alright, 15 thousandths. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the jam nut at the same time. Alright. Now I go down to number 5. And I'm going to be setting its exhaust valve. Number 25 thousandths for the exhaust. Intake 15 thousandths. Alright. Yes. Alright. I feel that. I feel the I feel the Allen wrench. I can't turn it anymore. Alright. Just a little bit tight. Not too much. Okay. And I go and I tighten the jam nut. Alright, there we go guys. Alright, that's just how to do the first half of the engine. Alright, I'm going to take the pin out of the engine. Take a 6mm bolt. Alright, I'm going to bar the engine over. Go ahead, Kyle, feel the, uh, pin the engine. I'm going to turn it over. As I turn it over. Starting at number six. Number six is top dead center on his compression stroke. All right, I'm gonna get my wrench. Don't forget your dipstick, kids. All right, I'm gonna be starting with the exhaust valve. All Tighten it. Feel the feeler gauge. Alright. Tighten that once you feel it right. Alright. Now, I just set the intake and exhaust on six. We're going to go basically go backwards. You set intake, exhaust. Intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. Okay, now we're going to be setting the intake on this one. Good. 
get your wrench situated. All right, get your 15,000 Steeler gauge under there. Lift the rocker arm up. Tighten the Allen wrench. Rub the feeler gauge back and forth a couple times. Watch out, guys. All right, tighten the jam nut. All right. Now I just set the intake valve. All right, now I'm setting the exhaust valve on four. All right. Feels right. All right. Now I'm going to be setting intake on this, on number three. Go ahead, hold the wrench. Kyle, hold the wrench. Get your 15,000 feeler gauge out. That's too tight at first. Now we're on the last cylinder. All right. Set its exhaust valve. Twenty-five thousand. Lift the rocker arm up. All right. Tighten it. And that's it. Therefore, you guys have gone through a complete overhead on a Cat Diesel C7 Acer diesel engine. Alright, so with that guys, see you guys later.